guys, it's me, CCG, in today's video, I'm gonna do a mini Ulta Beauty haul. I hope y'all guys enjoy what I'm showing y'all, what I bought. I bought a lot of makeup brushes, so this video is gonna have like a lot of makeup brushes. Further ado, please subscribe, like, and comment, and guys, our goal is 100 subscribers, and we're already there with 93 subscribers, so thank you to the new subscribers welcome to my channel so thank you so much and let's get started it is a mini little ulta haul so i hope you guys like what i'm showing and i do have makeup on i know it's not noticeable i'm not really good in the makeup world i want to get good in the makeup world so if y'all guys have tips or like little helper information please guys just blow up my comment section because i really do need some help Let's get started with the first product I bought, the Clinique Makeup Remover Liquid Version, and this is a travel size, so that is good because I am going to Europe in 8 days. Oh my god, I'm stressing guys, it is, you gotta shake it up before using, and y'all guys are probably freaking out because like the bottle, like the little hand, y'all guys probably might freak out because the lid is very loose it's how it's supposed to be i asked a worker there because they're all like that i got it to help me to remove my makeup and this is for eyelids lashes and lips and i can't bring too much makeup wipes because how heavy they are so might as well put it in liquid form and help me with that i am still gonna bring some makeup wipes for the whole face and stuff but just for backup some makeup remover liquid version and this is a clinique it's in purple this is what y'all guys need and it is good for sensitive skin i have very very sensitive skin guys like i'm talking about breakouts um i get little white spots on my face like what <laughs> but this was 13 dollars i believe yes this is 13 dollars with uh, tax or tax here or a dollar will be $14. So this in total is $14. I can't really give out a review on it because I haven't tried it yet because I'll be trying it when I go to Europe. So hopefully this, this really works. Next is actually my concealer which I use underneath my eye bags, on my nose, and even right here to just lighten it up a bit. The sad news is I can't get my actual concealer that I always get which is morphine 2 uh, the light edition it's called hidden pink um, I couldn't get that because well they don't carry my shade no more in that concealer since morphine went bankrupt morphine <laughs> you're supposed to be in business bro Ever since morphine's been out of business going bankruptcy it has been hard for me to get my actual products and stuff i really constantly use is their makeup brushes and also to my morphine 2 concealer so i have very sensitive skin most of morphine products are like cruelty free and it doesn't have like this one acid like i'm allergic to like my face is allergic to so i always went to morphine and they had stores and to get my makeup products but morphine come on girl get concealer for sure for europe so I had to transfer it to their store brand Ulta Beauty Concealer. I actually got this a little bit lighter because she did say that it would help my eye bags to be a bit more lighter instead of getting darker uh, type of skin tone because I have been tanning lately in the summertime and also too I get really really light in the winter time. She said that I would I'm not supposed to get breakouts so that is good. Concealer, their Ulta Beauty um, brand of concealer runs about nine dollars. That's not bad. With tax, it'll be ten dollars. Equals pretty small. It comes in a silver lid. I almost dropped it. Did you not see that? That went. Ooh. Supposed to match my color. So y'all guys can tell, but um, I already tried it on to see if it matches my skin. Next, I actually found this on a TikTok and then I wanted it because I really do have a hard time putting on makeup. I'm learning and I want to get better ways for me to get good at putting on makeup. So this is supposed to help. This is a blush and it is by Pixie on the Glow blush. And it looks like a deodorant stick. I'm not making this up. 
It really does. It looks like VR in a stick. But this is what it looks like in the package. It's in a green package with gold letter. And then this is the color of that. I got this light like pink. It's a moisture stick. So it comes in a really tight in packaging. It's not loose packaging at all. It's really tight in there. This is what it looks like, the bottle. Oh, girl. So the bottom, as you can see, is like a little mint green. The top part is the color of the blush. This is what the back says. My camera controller. Beautiful front. The other has a side for the um, blush part. And then this is the roll-on stick. So all you do, I have makeup on and I have blush, so it's gonna kind of be hard to do a review review. But all you gotta do is just I'm scared. Just rub it on your face and then pat it in with your foundation, like with a blender, a brush. And this is how you twist it up. Just like so. And twist it back. So forward is up. Backward. Don't press too hard. And I break. I break. I'm not gonna twist up here though. Okay, let's just swap this. Ooh, it sounded like a beauty guru when I said that smooth it's very very light this um it's not rough or anything i thought it would be like a bit rough it's not rough thank god i am gonna put a little plastic glue on because i am traveling and this is coming to me coming with me to europe but this is what it looks like so this is what it looks like when you roll it and then when you pat it down a little smudge on it when you pat it down it almost looks like um lipstick actually just put a right amount or even a little amount it's all up to you girl look at that that is pink that is a beautiful pink i really really love this as you can see the powder is you know it's okay it's de decent but i like a lot going on okay so guys so sorry for that if you don't already know, I live in Texas, and we have really, really bad heat, and even heat waves. To the point, it is around like 100 degrees to either 107 degrees, like yesterday. My dog, he's a bass and hound, he's really furry, was fixing to have a heat stroke, so I had to stop the video and uh, take care of that, because, I mean, that's that's my puppy, that's my baby. Even though he lives outside, he's not inside dog, but he still, he still means a lot to me, and... I just got worried. I just stopped what I was doing here and went to go help him cool off and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, anyways, <laughs> got a little scared there, but everything's okay. He's doing okay. I just dumped a whole lot of cold water on him and on the concrete and stuff so he can cool down. Back to the haul. On to the makeup brushes that I got. Ulta had a sale, which is buy one, get 50% off on the makeup brushes, especially the makeup brushes that says equal echo tools starting off with this one it comes in pretty pretty packaging Ooh, that lighting it comes in pretty pretty packaging it's in rose gold this comes with five three little ones two big ones it even has information on the back so i'm gonna read the ones that it comes with it comes with the angle liner concealer blender type brush a soft powder and angled brush Angle is a fluffy brush, applies liquid creams or powders for a sheer to full coverage finish. A powder is a powdery brush used to apply powder products including blush, browser, setting powder, and pressed powder. Blending is a flat oval shaped brush, blends cream or powder shades all over the lid, foil or shimmering shadow, spray set, uh, setting spray on the bristles and press the pigment onto the lid. Concealer or flat oval shaped brush blends perfectly for reaching the small corners of the eye. Use the spot for medium to full coverage. Angle liner, small angle brushes. Angle brush creates a even thin line used to lend the eye or full in brows. 100% post consumer recycled materials. That is awesome. I actually like that. Um, finer cut ultra soft bristles. Love that. And it says recycle me on the package. So guys, recycle. Don't want to be like Wally. Anyways, cream soft brushes for creating 
looks. This is the one I got for 50% off, the foundation brush. And I really want to get this to use a te uh, new technique that people, well it's not new or anything new, but uh, use a technique of people using a foundation brush when they, you know, uh, spread all their foundation on their face. So I want to do that instead of use like the blending deal so I can get either better and see which one I'm good at or not. This is in the package. It's Rose Gold 2 by the same company. Um, flawless foundation, dab foundation all over the face using the side of the brush to apply the foundation and downward paint strokes. Flip the brush over to the flat side and blend for the center of the face outwards. This is pretty good. Ooh, girl. Sorry. Get away from me. I dropped it. These brushes are good to replace every 12 months. So basically a year. My second brush I got, my morphing one. This is what I'm saying. I love to use all guys' brushes. This one only comes with four. But I like them because I like these two types of brushes because they help me blend my eyeshadow like in circles. The collection includes oval shaded uh, shadow brush, pro form blending crease brush, tapper mini blender brush, angle liner brush. Well, I have two angle liner brushes. Now, that's okay. More than fair use. This one only includes four. It's in this cute black and white packaging. Love it. This is, this is, I got this. Ah, that's cute. That's funny. Okay. The four one is $12. Sale section in front of the more, I mean the Ulta store. And that's where I found these brushes. Buy one, get 50% off. And I was like, oh, great. I need some. So I started out picking this one and then, you know, I read the sign and I picked this full set right here. Foundation brush is $8. Natural Elegant Kit is be 16 but then got down to 13 Just buy one, get one 50% off. Including tax, this was only $23.79. Great! I love it. I love Ulta sales. Oh my god. They're really helpful. And the four products that I got, this one with the Clinique, the Pixie Blush, and my new Ulta Beauty Concealer, because Morphine can't get their shit together, was $58. All those four items in total. Now, it's time to open up these makeup brushes. Look how soft this is. That is so soft. Okay. Voila. So cool. So, on the rose gold, it has an E, but then it has in rose gold eco tool, and then the type of makeup brush it is this is all this foundation oh music to my ears it's a very very soft brush it's so soft it's also soft when i pat it on my face i don't know this is probably not what it is used for but <laughs> oh i use these to help me blend on my eyeshadow if these are not what they're used for, then um, guys, help me. Or I may use it for my highlight. I use this for the really, really uh, corner of my eye. And even on my eyelid to help me blend. But look at that, y'all. That is gorgeous. And then this. I may use this as well. Oh my god it's even softer <laughs> love it from the same product and producer i got six new brushes from them three little small ones three little big ones so beautiful so soft i love the color the rose gold how it starts off pink then white oh my god and how so soft they are i really hope they're not hard to clean up the morphine four pack set Wow, I'm ready to get out. Oh my god, they're just starting to slide out and everything. But this is what they come in this little black container. You just pop them right out. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, one more. Yay! These are all four. They're all in black. And then you can see white. And white print morphine. So I use this. Actually, I have the same brush, kind of like this, and I use it as my highlighter. 
um because i like i said i'm a whore for highlighting and i use a lot of highlight so but you can use it for your eyeshadow i think that's what people use it for i have another one. Oh my god so i have one from morphine but a bit smaller and then one from Pico. And then I have, I already have a brush like this from Morphe, but I have another one. Mm. Like Morphe brushes, they're pretty soft. Some are pretty rough, I'm not gonna lie. This one, this one's a little pretty, pretty rough, pretty itchy, but still pretty soft, pretty good. I'll give it that. This, I actually use for the corner of my eyes. I think I already said that, cause I think, oh, well, Morphine's a bit bigger and um, not as angle and cut as the Eco one. Every makeup brush is different like everybody else on this world. That's what makes them unique. Makes you look good too. My makeup right now, um, but they're pretty soft. They're pretty good. Good feeling about these brushes. Pretty good feeling about these brushes. They're very soft. They're very good. Very um, sturdy too. My God, the Eco ones are very sturdy. I'm mad at morphing right now. I hate really like, shit with morphing right now. Especially after today. In total with the Eco and the morphing brushes, I have 10 new brushes to add to my brush, my makeup brushes. I just hope you enjoyed this little makeup haul that I showed you and everything else that I got in Ulta. Sorry that I didn't try everything um, on camera and did a second review. I just want to try this out to see y'all guys um, like how I do makeup hauls like out on my channel. Like it's not a thing to do a lot on my channel. So I just wanted to try this out, this little makeup haul out. Hope y'all guys enjoy it. Sorry again for no review, but I mean the makeup brushes guys, they're pretty good. I like them. They're really good. Subscriber goal is 100. We're almost there guys. We can do it. And I'll see y'all guys soon. Please like and comment. Please help a girl out if you know a lot about makeup makeup tips and helping information just blow up the comment section please see y'all guys soon bye guys